year, if you can believe it, 2021. Look at all those ice skaters out there. And they don't have the glare of the sun in their eyes, at least not now. Let's check in with seven first start meteorologist Mike Taylor. When can we see some sunshine return? <laughs> You know, Alicia, this is our cloudiest time of year, or at least the first part of it. I'm thinking we get some pretty cloudy days in February, too. And it looks like this week is going to live right up to that. We'll have cloudy skies to get through. Hopefully, we can get some peaks of sunshine, but the clouds are definitely going to be a force. And that's going to keep our temperatures pretty close to average, too. Tough to warm up when you have the clouds around. Uh, drizzle and some flurries, possible, maybe even some snow showers for Tuesday morning. Uh, so that not only keeps the clouds or brings them right back, but it also brings the opportunity for some icy roads. But overall, with the cloud cover, that's about it. It's pretty quiet for a good chunk of the work week. So here's a look at the temperatures right now. We're at 34. I did the news late last night, and our temperature was 34. So we're not going to move much with clouds around. It's hard to warm up. Uh, winds from the southwest at 7 miles per hour. Visibility is down to 7 miles. We had some patchy fog in spots. But notice all of the gray across Metro Detroit. Temps are pretty close to the freezing mark, around 32 to 34 degrees, give or take. And zooming out, you're just not going to find a lot of variation. This pattern is stuck, uh, trapping some low-level moisture. We call it an inversion. Uh, but this is a system that we're looking. If you look closely, you'll see this a line of white cloud cover crossing over Minneapolis, heading towards gr uh, Green Bay. That's our next weather maker that could bring not only some drizzle, but also a chance of seeing some snow showers too. You'll find temperatures are not budging across much of the Midwest and the Great Lakes. So as this system moves in, it'll keep the clouds around, gives us an opportunity for some snow showers and some drizzle, and it keeps our temperatures from moving all that much. So this will be the setup over the next couple of days, just cloudy skies with a mix of flurries and drizzle kicks things off for the day tomorrow. So your forecast for the rest of this afternoon, numbers will gradually climb into the mid thirties and then they turn right back down to the low 30s, but the clouds will hang tough, so there's just not going to be a lot of variation with the temps. Overnight lows down to around 29 for an overnight low. Uh, we'll call it chilly once again. So a cold start, looking out for some slick spots on the roadways for tomorrow morning, because numbers will be near freezing, but a lot like today, Tuesday, a high of 35 degrees, some flurries around, some, a little bit of drizzle, but this is a pattern that will stay with us over the next couple of days here. Highs will be in the mid to upper 30s, lows in the 30s and the 20s, and lots of clouds to get through. Hopefully we can get some sunshine towards the weekend and maybe midweek, but if we do, there really will only be a peak of sun. More news for you after this.